All right. So in this one, we're going to show, uh, I think I told you last time that for my money input dialog is probably the most interesting or most useful function for engineering students. So in this video, I'm going to start with the kinematics equation where we can compute final position as a function of initial position plus an initial velocity in an x direction times time uh, plus a third component, which is one half times the acceleration, the change in velocity with respect to time squared uh, multiplied by time squared. So now what we need is we need to come up with a way to have a user input, and we're going to start off with the rudimentary example, right? So we're, we'll do one example where we, where we compute final position, and then I'll show you in subsequent videos several examples where you can actually compute time in flight, distance in flight, things like that. So let's say, okay, I need to ask the user for a series of values. So we'll say questions, right? Because these are the questions we have to ask. Now I want to ask, uh, what's the initial position? I want to ask, what's the initial velocity? I want to ask, what's the time in flight? What's the acceleration? And the time in flight again, that'll just come out. So I need one, two, three, four values. So I'm going to say open curly bracket, again, above your enter key, uh, and we're going to create a cell array. So my first question is, what is the initial, oops, position? That's question one. Now, <clears throat> question two. We want uh, how long is the object in flight? That's question two. Now, we can see that these are going to start to get a little long. We won't be able to see them all. So I have an array, right? That's what the open curly bracket is, it's a cell array. So after my first position, which is my first question, I'm going to say comma, dot, 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 and I'm going to go down to the next line. This is going to just enable me. So at the end of this one, comma, dot, 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 go down to the next line. Now I can look at all of my questions together because I have four questions I have to ask because my next question is what is the oops, acceleration? Uh, let's just ask what's the acceleration, okay? We're going to talk more about that in a subsequent video where acceleration is a function of dimensions, like are you in the X, are you in the Y, have you oriented your axis, what's the acceleration in the plane that, you're, that you care about. So, um, <clears throat> so last we had uh, initial position, ah, we didn't say it. So let's go ahead and say that that's going to be the end, but we forgot one question, so let's, in what's, or let's add in what is the initial uh, velocity. Cool. Again, we need common dot, dot, dot. So now I have my four questions that I want to ask. Uh, I'm going to suppress that by putting a semicolon at the end. And again, all that does is it keeps this cell array from being printed to the command window. So we can show that real fast. Let's go ahead and save this. And we're going to say uh, matlab underscore. And this is input dlg uh, to underscore solve. Ooh, solve. That's not solve. Uh, kinematics. Sorry, this keyboard is really hard to type on when you're typing. When you're gaming, it's great, but typing sucks. All right, so let's go ahead and suppress it. Um, and I told you I'd show you the difference. So if I run this, you'll see the entire cell array. If I suppress this and then run it, you don't see the cell array. Now, I don't really need to see this. It's an intermediary step. These are just the questions I need to ask. Because now what I need is user values or let's actually say kinematics. So kin vals equals, and we're gonna say input DLG, open close parentheses, because that's our function that we wanna use. And then in there, I just need to place the cell array or the name of the cell array that contains the questions we wanna ask. And in this case, we called it questions. So let's go ahead and paste that in there. Now when I run it, I get this. I have an input dialog box that has now asked me for four inputs. All right, so what's my initial position? Let's go ahead and say zero. What's my initial velocity? We'll say 10. What's, how long is the object in flight? Four. Uh, what's the acceleration? We'll say negative 9.81 because that has a, oh, not divided by, 0.81. And then we'll press OK. And now you can see that all of those values are saved in a cell array. But we have two problems. Number one, what's the initial position? OK. Um, in meters. What's the initial velocity? In meters per second. What's the uh, time in flight in seconds? And what is the acceleration due to gravity? And we don't have uh, question marks here, so let's go ahead and add some question marks so we can be consistent. And our time in flight, that would end up being, or I'm sorry, our acceleration, that would be in meters per second squared. All right, cool. So now we have some units. That's our first problem. Our second problem is that we need all of these values to be numbers. And remember when we had our input dialog explanation, 
We asked the user to input the number of siblings, and then we turned that into a number by using the string to num function. Now that was in the siblings array at position one. Now I have a kin vals or kinematic values array, um, but it has four positions. So all we would do is we would say this. Okay, so we would say uh, s not equals, and we'll say string to num because that's the function we used. It's going to be in the kin vals array, kin vals. Now I have a cell array, and my initial position was in uh, location one. Now I'm going to suppress that because I don't need it yet, right? And then I have my v naught, so I'm just naming these according to how they appear in the equation. Now I want to be sort of lazy in a good way, so I'm actually just going to go copy, paste, 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 right? So here I have v naught, and then my second one was, uh, let's see, it was the initial velocity, good, so that's going to be in position two. My third question, how long is the ball in flight? So that's not s naught, now that's t. And we're saying kin values in position three. The last one's going to be kin values in position four, and that's going to be acceleration. So now, now I have built a cell array that contains all the questions I'd like to ask the user so the user can supply me with information. I've prompted the user to input all of those values in an input dialog, a single window that popped up. I've now turned them all back into a number so we can use this equation. And here's what I'm going to do. Watch this. I'm just going to copy my comment uh, that I have above, and I'm going to paste it in. And now I'm just going to run this. So I have, what's my initial position? Let's go ahead and say zero meters. What's my initial velocity? We'll say uh, 10 meters. What's, how long was the ball in flight? We'll say uh, 10 seconds. And what's my acceleration? If we're in the Y, we'll say negative 9.81. We'll run it and we'll say that our position at the end was negative 395.5 uh, uh, meters, so below the ground. Now, there's obvious implications to that, okay? But we could do a lot of different things. Um, we could make a more realistic example where we say the ball wasn't in the air for 10 seconds. It was actually in the air for, I don't know, one second. So let's say we have an initial velocity, or I'm sorry, an initial position is zero. We're starting at the ground. We have an initial velocity of 100 meters per second. So now gravity acts 9.81 meters per second squared in the negative. So we'll say the ball's in flight for, uh, let's say, five seconds. And we have, again, negative 9.81 meters per second squared. We'll run it, and we get that the final position is 377 meters off of the ground. So it shot up at 100 meters. It was changing at 9.81 in the negative direction, but it was in flight for what we said was five seconds. Um, so it went at 100 meters for five seconds, or 100 meters, and then five seconds after, it's still at 377 meters off the ground. So it took gravity a while to overcome that whole thing. Um, so that's the input dialog. I'm going to do a lot more examples on this because, again, I told you that I think input dialog is probably the most important function for any uh, engineering student. You can build, basically build a calculator. That's what we just did. You can build a calculator to solve any equation in the future, whether it's principal stresses, whether it's uh, sort of surface friction values, or whether it's Bernoulli's equation to compute uh, flows inside of pipes where there's friction on the edges. Um, and then you've got initial pressure, initial velocity, you've got a final pressure, final velocity, but you've got friction losses. We can build a calculator to do anything. So if this was helpful, uh, go ahead and hit the like button and then so you can see all of our videos going forward. Um, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time.